We're at the grade crossing in Ferndale, Michigan, Nine Mile, Hilton Road. And looking this way is the entrance to the intermodal yard. This way is Royal Oak, Troy, Pontiac on the Amtrak stops. We'll take a look at uh, as much of this track as we can. the grade crossing control showing you at uh, Nine Mile Road and sub Zahali subdivision. In this area there are three tracks and then the switch here to your left which I believe is not used any longer and then you have a switch to the right which goes into the intermodal yard. You can tell by the rails, the main line here, and then the siding, which is much rustier. And that's looking at Hilton Road. That car that's crossing right there, that's uh, the entrance to the intermodal, and to the left is where this spur went off to. We'll go take a look at it. Not only do we have a very tall weed growing in the track, but you also have a tree. Okay, and that's where the uh, grade crossing is for the spur. And you can see that the dirt has filled in the tracks around here as well. And then as we go here, you can see where the gate hasn't been opened in a while. And the track goes in there, completely weed covered. It's probably hard to see that the uh, rail is actually curved to the left. They have a derail right there. And we have a train coming. And that track actually wraps around the intermodal yard. See the train turning to the right. All right, now we're on the other side of the track where at the end of the street, 
they have that warning sign to make you turn so you don't drive up the hill and end up on the tracks. So stepping back up towards the track, you can see this switch, it's a right hand switch. We're looking at it obviously from the other side, but that's the uh, turn that goes to the siding which goes into the intermodal yard. And then there's a switch up above at the intermodal yard. All right, so we're walking towards the intermodal yard. Here's the uh, switch. And you can see it branches off there to the left and to the right. There's some uh, action going on in the intermodal yard at the moment. Closer look at the manual switch. And we're at the grade crossing again now at Nine Mile Road at Nine and Hilton. We have an Amtrak train on its way. What we're going to try to do once we catch this Amtrak is we are going to hop in the car and drive to Dearborn, which is about a 23 minute drive, according to uh, Google Maps. And we're gonna see if we can catch that same train coming through Dearborn. Alright, so it's going to go around the intermodal yard, as that freight train did. There's a nice horn salute, as this is a no horn zone, so it doesn't blow a grade crossing horn. Alright, so now we're going to head off to uh, Dearborn, see if we can catch the train there. So we made it to Dearborn, the John D. Dingle Transit Center, Dearborn, Michigan. And we'll catch the Amtrak train. All right, we're at the Dearborn station on the platform now. Across the way there is Greenfield Village. And the train's coming, and you'll notice that the train station here has got cement ties. Cafe car right behind the engine, followed by coach, business class now, another coach class. Got the same uh, nice horn salute.
nice to see so many people traveling by rail. Who doesn't love a train? This is the last call for Amtrak Wolverine number 353 on route to Chicago with intermediate stops. Passengers should proceed to track one. Please have your travel document ready for scanning by the conductor. Please remove any travel documents from your envelope. Thank you for choosing Amtrak. Quick look at the outside of the train station from the platform. The walkway across, in case you have to board on the other side. I think boarding a train goes much faster than boarding an airplane, and the seats are much more comfortable. And this is Amtrak Train 353, the parts of Pontiac, Michigan. Final destination is Chicago, Illinois, Wolverine service. Just about completed. Dearborn has a much longer boarding platform than any of the uh, first stops, Pontiac, Troy, Royal Oak, Detroit.